Hi guys, so I have a lot to update you guys on. Um, let's just start with the biggest one. I'm married. <laughs> I got married just over a month ago on July 20th. And it's honestly weird seeing myself right now because the last time I stared at this screen on video was when I was still in school and now my life is a million times different. So I'm just going to make this video because a few of you have requested it just because I guess you guys want to know what I'm doing now with my life now that I'm done school. Um, so April, I officially was finished school. So April 19th, I think, was my last exam. I had a job interview for a kinesiologist position at Century Fitness in Hamilton on April 17th, two days before my last exam. So April 17th, I had my interview. I had about five interviews that week. I just went nuts and applied. My goal all along through school was to have a job as a kinesiologist while I had just finished school, so I didn't feel like a letdown kind of thing. So April 17th had the interview. April 18th, I got engaged. Um, we've been dating for like six and a half years, so it was still a surprise, but I definitely could say we were ready for that point in our lives. Um, April 19th, got the job, also wrote my last exam, um, and then got my grades back later at the end of that month. So it was pretty <laughs> intense. I'm not going to lie, I had a bit of a breakdown. And it wasn't like a bad breakdown, but it was like a holy crap, what's going on in my life um, kind of thing. So life's just been like, go, 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 ever since then. Sorry, the lighting is like really bad. And I just ate dinner or lunch. Um, so that's all that's happening with that. I'm now working full time as a kinesiologist. I'm writing my exam on September 20th this year for the Ontario Kinesiologist Association or whatever. It's pretty much so that you can have your license because I'd like to apply to hospitals and kind of get more out of like the gym clinic setting. I personally would prefer working in a hospital. Although I do really like the job that I have now and it's it's really great experience. So I'm going to keep it for now. Um, and yeah, so I have my own house now and I don't live in an apartment. So like four years ago, I gave you guys an apartment tour. So now I can give you a house tour, but it's not as exciting, I guess, maybe for our university students. My channel's kind of changed in that sense. Um, but I'm just happy. I'm enjoying life. I turned 22 um, this month and I've been studying for my kin exam and enjoying summer and went on my honeymoon. I went to Cancun and it was fun. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much my life right now. As for further education, I, I don't really know where I'm going with that right now. I don't want to rush into anything major um, for at least a year. So come next September is when I'm going to decide whether I want to apply for more school or I'm, maybe I just get a good job that I really like and I could see myself doing that for a long time, then hey. But my two major options that I'm considering are the accelerated program at MAC for nursing um, and then also for paramedics. And then the other one, which was like my last option, was respiratory therapist. Um, I know it seems kind of silly spending like 40 grand on school and then going into a few thousand dollar college program. But I honestly don't feel like I've wasted my money at the University of Waterloo. I've already gotten a job in my field and I don't know, the experience honestly was so worth everything. It changed me completely and I don't think I would be sitting right here today if I hadn't gone to Waterloo. Um, so I'm not bashing university like most people would. I'm not saying my money was wasted and I'm not saying anything bad about university. I, I really did enjoy my experience. Live it up when you're there because you have no responsibilities after <laughs> um, while you're in school and then after school it's just like everything hits. OSAP payments, jobs, relationships, you need a car, a house. It's just like a ton of stuff and you don't want to feel like a letdown like I I know a lot of my friends are feeling kind of bad about themselves right now because they're working at like Tim Hortons and stuff like that and it's just 
it's depressing for them because obviously when you're in school you have these like expectations of what life will be like after school so it, it can be good and it could be can be bad depending on how much effort you put into looking for a job. I can honestly say I probably handed out like 200 resumes and I got maybe like eight interviews all together. So work hard, work your butt off, and yeah, that's it. I'm going to go now, guys. Bye.